let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody, so in this video I'm showing you how to make a super quick um, stroller name tag that hangs off of the handlebar. Um, I've seen a lot of these at Disney and I was like, I can make that. <laughs> um, so I actually spent 30 minutes trying to cut the name out of vinyl so that I could applique it onto the vinyl out of, yeah, onto the other vinyl. Um, and I ended up just going with heat transfer vinyl because I couldn't get my machine to work. Um, so yeah, it's insanely fast. If you wanted to make this out of all cotton fabrics, you would just want to put your pieces right sides together with your Velcro um, hanging out like by an inch in the seam allowance so that the nine inches is within um, the little box you're sewing and then you flip it right side out and top stitch. So either way, this would take five minutes to 30 minutes depending on your sewing skill. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, I cannot get my cameo pro to work for beans. I think it's the vinyls I'm trying to use. I'm not super worried about it. So to make this stroller name tag, I have two pieces of vinyl that are cut seven by 12 inches. So it's front and back vinyl. I'm cutting out heat transfer vinyl of our Dorothy's last name, my husband's last name. And I have two double-sided vinyl, double-sided Velcro. 10 inches each piece. That's it. All right, so I'm going to weed the vinyl. Make sure you cut it out mirrored or backwards. The vinyl I'm using is from the Vinyl Spectrum. It's just where I've ordered for years and years. Um, but there are tons of different places to get heat transfer vinyl. And then I am attaching it using a heat press. But I think you could use um, an iron very carefully, of course. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Alright, so I'm laying the name where I want it on the vinyl. I've got my heat press going. You wanna make sure you are using a Teflon sheet. And I'm gonna go very slow because I don't know how this vinyl material is going to react. Right now I've got the heat set at about 200. So I'm just gonna pressure for five seconds. Lift up, check it out. Not quite. So now I'm going to turn it over and press it a little bit longer. I don't want the heat directly touching the vinyl image. I don't know how it'll handle it. I think you could also use um, like a straightener. I've seen people do that if you don't have anything else. So just a few seconds. You want it nice and even as far as pressure being applied. And I'm going to peel that off. Nope. Still not applied. So it could be that my heat isn't quite high enough. It's raised to about 250 now. I usually have it set to like 275. So I'm going to apply it with the vinyl a little bit closer to the center of where the pressure is. Maybe it's not getting enough pressure on the edges. Normally I do clothing with this press, so... It's a set a little bit higher. So close. So, so close. We'll just do, I'm going to do 10 seconds in that area. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. It felt like an eternity. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So now if you want to do another quick press, just to make sure it's on there. Uh, no, I don't want to. It's had enough heat applied. So there is that heat transfer vinyl applied. Oh, it's cute. It's so cute. All right, so I've got 
the vinyl pieces sandwiched together with the Velcro pieces 10 inches long is what I cut them to. There is nine inches hanging out of the seam and they are in one inches, one inch from the edge. And I'm just gonna sew in a square. Um, if you wanted to, you could add like some kind of like hidden pocket to this as well if you wanted. So it's a little more useful than just what it is. sides to make sure the edges are nice and even before I started sewing. And then if you wanted to be extra, you could edge coat the edges, but that's all I'm going to do. If you were going to make this with a woven fabric, you would just put right sides together and when you're adding your Velcro loops, they would be inside. They would be facing down within that and then you sew and then when you flip it they're right side up but this will loop around the handle stroller like that and people know it's not theirs it's yours so extremely quick project i hope you enjoyed i know i'm excited to put this on the stroller it's just cute